For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, the position of a particle along a straight line path is defined by S is equal to d cubed minus 6d squared minus 15t plus 7 feet where t is in seconds. Determine the total distance traveled when t is equal to 10 seconds. So, we got that s is equal to t cubed minus 6t squared minus 15t plus 7. First thing we're going to find is the total distance traveled. So when you want to find the distance traveled, the first thing you want to do is find the equation for the velocity with respect to time. You know that v is equal to ds dt. The derivative of this function right here is 3t squared minus 12t minus 15. So what you want to do is you want to set this equation equal to 0 and it's much easier to do when you factorize this. So if you factorize this you get that this is you factor out the 3 and you get t squared minus 4t minus 5 and you further factorize this and you get that this is equal to t minus 5 and t minus 1. So you want to set this equal to 0 and you know that when v is equal to 0 t is equal to positive 5 and positive 1. So now you can find the total distance traveled because you know when the particle stops. So you need to find s at 0 because it's the beginning of the interval. We're doing from 0 to 10 seconds interval. So we need s at 0, s at 1 because 1 falls in within the interval, s at 5 because 5 also falls in within the interval, and s at 10 where it finishes. So basically you're going to replace 0 for t, 1 for t, 5 for t, and 10 for t in the position equation. And you're going to get the results that this is equal to 7, this is negative 13, this is negative 93, and this is 257. Now that you have where the, where the particle is at each of these positions, you need to find the difference between them. So from 7 to 13, we have 20 difference, 20 feet difference. From negative 13 to negative 93, you got 80 feet difference. And from negative 93 to 257, you got 350 difference. And to find the total distance traveled, all you got to do is add all these together and you get that this is equal to 450 feet. That is the total distance traveled, which is the first part. Then they want you to find the average velocity. The average velocity is equal to the displacement over the time. Notice that this is the displacement and not the total distance traveled. <coughs> the displacement is given by the final minus the initial. So 257 minus 7 is equal to 250. and the amount of time that elapsed from 0 to 10 is 10 seconds. So the average velocity comes out to be 25 feet per second. The third part is the average speed. Average speed. Now the average speed is given by the total distance traveled over the time elapsed. The total distance traveled we found on the first part to be 450 and the time elapsed from 0 to 10 is 10 seconds. Seconds, feet, let's put some units, feet, seconds. So as you can see the average speed is 45 feet per second. and the instantaneous velocity and acceleration at this time. So the velocity at 10, we already found the equation for the velocity right here. You just got to plug in 10 for t, and you get that the velocity at 10 is equal to 165 feet per second. 
the acceleration is given by the derivative of the velocity so the derivative of this equation will give you the equation for the acceleration which comes out to be 6t minus 12 and then all you need to do is plug in 10 for t in the equation of the acceleration that we just found and you get that this is 60 minus 12 which comes out to be 48 feet per second square this is a square so final answer for the total distance traveled final answer for the average velocity final answer for the average speed final answer for the velocity at 10 and final answer for the acceleration at 10 please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you